Good evening, I'm Chiro, and this is a review demonstration of the Mayflash GameCube controller adapter. And the focus of this review is to avoid PC and Smash Brothers. It's just what can this adapter do for the Wii U by itself. I've tested my Wii U library with this adapter and it, it does not pick up the GameCube controller. Even though there are games such as Super Mario 3D World, which has very robust control schemes such as the tablet, Wiimotes, the old and the new classic pro controllers, it doesn't show up. If you use a modded Wii U and you back up Smash Brothers and Pokémon, which are games that work with it, the backups running from a modded Wii U that you make yourself do not work with the adapter. It's zero zip. The thing that does work with this uh, adapter is the Retro Arch. And what I need to do is pay attention to this corner of the TV screen and you'll notice the messages as they come up. Okay, right there, two messages. And now it's hard to see with the lighting. The first one said that port one is the tablet and so I can use the tablet to move around. Port 2 is the GameCube controller. By default that means player 1 can only be done here. So how do you get to use your GameCube adapter with let's say a single player game? Well let's see not this one where is it? Super Mario Super Mario Land, okay, wrong. Okay, messages come up again. Port 1 is a tablet, port 2 is controller. So I can just move and play and all that jazz. What you do is you hold down power to turn off the tablet and I'll just notice a message on the TV. We've lost port 2. This GameCube adapter is still considered port 2. Yeah I made a mistake. This is port 1, it dropped, this is port 2. But RetroArch is really robust, so we can just resync it. So we can hot swap instead of a cold swap the GameCube controller and control it. And I died because I can't really see from this angle of the T. Okay, so back and forth. Da da da. All right, now there's a problem. Pushing all the buttons. How do I get back to the RetroArch? I need a home button. Well, here. How about uh, I use this Wii mount? It has a home button. Yeah. Ah, there you go. Synced up. Remote controller is on port two. Nothing. Now in a two-player game, this will work fine. You know. So what do we do? We have to make sure that the player one has access to a home button. So we just hot swap again. Player one is available. I could desync this quick ways without the battery.
Okay, w controllers port one, push home. Voila. Now you could have resynced it to player one to be the tablet. I could put the classic pro controller on this and still do it. So that is basically part one. This is what you can do with the control, the adapter on the Wii U level. If everything goes well with this recording, we'll have a part two. And we're back. And things are going to get a lot confusing because it's going to be saying Wii and Wii U very frequently. So, we have the Wii U running and we are set into the Wii mode. So it has been downshifted its operating system and hardware to run as a Wii. I've tested many games with this, not as many as the Wii U, but basically the GameCube adapter does not work. So with a game like Dokapan Kingdom, which is like Mario Party, it takes lots of types of controllers and because it's a party game, you can hot swap them several different ways and times during the game. This is not recognized. So what else can we do? Well, we can have the homebrew channel in this lower level Wii mode. What can the adapter do in this type of situation? Not much. There are apps, older apps for the Wii. Wii modes are recognized, classic Pro controllers recognized, nunchucks are recognized, GameCube controllers are not. So even something as innocuous as this uh, Wii MC, which is a media player, GameCube controller is not recognized. If you were to back up your Wii games and try to run them off a SD card or a USB stick with the Wii U to avoid disc read errors or whatnot, the GameCube controller is not recognized. What does recognize it is this. Nintendo. So Nintendo is an app that allows you to run GameCube games. We can use it as a Wii or in the Wii downgrade of the Wii U. And it allows you to have all the different type of settings to play uh, GameCube games, how you like it, patch them, mod them, whatever. Okay. Let's see. Where is this at? Uh, here. Okay. Now, and just natively in this uh, Nintendo, I can have free control with the GameCube controller. No problem. Now I brought up the lots of hardware settings so you can tweak the communication between the console, the game, the cables, the TV, however you like. But right now I'm at the very last setting which says native control and the description for it is native control allows the Game Boy Advance link cables on original Wii systems. Note, enabling native control will disable Bluetooth and USB controllers. This option is not available on the Wii U. So, if you have native control on, which I do have set it, Bluetooth stuff. So basically, your Wii Motes, which use Bluetooth, Wii Tablet, although I don't know how you would use it, would not be recognized. But other things will be. So let's try it out. Now we want it on. SD. And I chose this game for a particular reason. Hee 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 hee. So natively, the GameCube controller works. All right, let's start. Now how about that native input? Wow. 
nada. GameCube still works. But you know, Game Boy Advance controller does not, even though it's set to native mode. Closing review and thoughts. This adapter is really good for multiplayer. Okay. Ignoring Smash Brothers Wii U and Pokken, it really doesn't do anything much else except for RetroArch and Nintendo. But with the RetroArch, you can run the MAME emulator, which has a lot of arcade games. Lots of arcade games are four-player, you know, co-op, beat-em-up, brawl, shooters. You have Ninja Turtles, you have Simpsons, everything by Capcom, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Contra, Metal Slug. All those games, four players, super awesome, if you have the controllers for them. Nintendo, people do acknowledge that the Wii U is the best kind of way to run GameCube games, and lots of GameCube games are four player, are for four players. You have Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, um, all the first person shooters like Time Splitters. That's another one. Metal Arms, Glitch in the System, Custom Robo. Um, a lot of uh, platformers have little combination party games. Oh, all, all the Mario parties um, and all that stuff. And depending on your circumstances, having a Wii U hooked to the TV with this adapter may be easier than having a PC hooked up with this adapter or a laptop hooked up with this adapter to your TV. So, um, yeah. And that's about it. Me personally, I don't enjoy it because I prefer the Wii for this type of situation. The Wii U is, it's given me a lot of problems with compatibility and getting things to work. And it's, it's a lot more fidgety and whatnot. But I am personally still keeping the Mayflash adapter just for its utility um, with an arcade game. Oh, also with PC. Even if you are running... Even if you're not running MAME on your PC, there's lots of Steam games that are imitating arcades and are four-player co-op. So there's a whole bunch of those things, you know, the, the retro style and whatnot. So uh, there you go. Until next time, I'm Tiro, and have fun gaming. See ya.